Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I have a website, rugbabe.com, where I sell tufting guns and hopefully lots of other new products coming soon. But for today's video, I thought it would be really interesting to show you guys how I fulfill all of my orders step by step. My name is Autumn and let's get started. So right now we're in my Shopify store and before I fulfill my orders, I just wanted to quickly show you guys what I did to um, kind of set up my shipping and delivery. So first I'm going to go to settings at the bottom left corner of my store. I'm going to click shipping and delivery. And this is delivery methods at checkout, which maybe I'll do another video and explain what that is. Um, but we're gonna skip all that and we're gonna go straight to packages. So right now, as I'm making this video, I only have one product in my store and the dimensions of the box that it comes in are right here. You basically just click edit and you put the length, width, height. And um, for the uh, weight, I put zero and I'll show you why right now. So I saved that. And after I've put the dimensions of the package that my uh, product is gonna go in, I'm going to go to products. And as you can see, I have my tufting gun and then this free printable diagram for when you're changing the cut and loop pile of your tufting gun. But we're gonna go to this one. And at the bottom, we're gonna stop at shipping. And obviously I have it checked off that this is a physical product. And right here is where I'm going to put the weight of my tufting gun and the package that it comes in, including all the bubble wrap and all that stuff. So I have the weight at eight pounds and that's a couple of things that you kind of have to have filled out before you can fulfill your orders. So now we are going to go to my orders and I am going to go back a few pages. Now we are at the beginning of orders that I need to fulfill. Um, obviously the ones below it I've already fulfilled, so I'm just going to be showing you guys a small little example with just five orders. So basically I click on this first order and then I am going to select all of them and press create shipping labels. It should then take you to this next page where I've selected, you know, all five of my orders, created the shipping label, and now we are going to purchase our shipping labels. And you might notice that the total weight is different from what I previously showed you guys. I actually fairly recently updated the weight because I did add bubble wrap and other things to the packages. So I'm going to manually update the weight on all five of my orders. Mind you, any orders that were made after I made the adjustment to the weight will have that eight pound um, setting under the weight of the package. But this was orders that um, were before I adjusted the weight. As I'm changing the weights of the packages, I came across this one package that is going to be sent to Australia, and I'm really glad I came across this so I could show you guys what to do in this instance. So they put a PO box number to have their package sent to, and if you're not aware, UPS and DHL and um, a bunch of carrier services don't deliver to PO boxes. So um, in this instance, I am going to click these three red dots and press remove order and just um, email my customer and see if there's an address that I can ship it to. Now I'm left with four orders and an important thing to keep in mind is to check the addresses that your customers input. Most likely um, they will put the correct address, but I have come across some instances where they input their address incorrectly. So sometimes if I have time, you know, I will look up their address on Google Maps or on my phone to make sure that it is a legit address. And if it's off by a number, then, you know, thankfully I will have looked it up and I can correct the address for them. To correct the address for them, just click edit shipping address. And right here, my customer has input their address, but if I want to make sure that it is a real address, I just click on their address backspace and it will give me a drop down box with um, addresses that are verified by Google. So um, these 
first one matches the uh, address they input, so I just click it and yeah, it's fixed if it was messed up. It's important to make sure that when you are editing their address that you kind of remember their zip code and you know the state and you know the street or something to where when you edit the address and there's the drop down box it gives you the suggestions that it kind of matches perfectly if it's off by a number or a letter that you know it's um the thing closest to it i guess now that i've checked their addresses um i've edited the weight you will most likely not need to edit the weight because you know you might have and put the weight of the package and the product correctly before you put it on your website or made it um, public for people to purchase. But I have edited my weight and checked my addresses and now I am ready to purchase my shipping labels. I'm gonna ship it today, February 1st, and I am going to make sure that the box that says email shipment details to customer today is checked off so that they get their um, tracking number and you know get updated. And then I am going to purchase my shipping labels. And as you can see, Shopify gives you a really, really nice discount. So today I'm saving $29 um, through the Shopify discount. So I'm going to purchase my shipping labels. And now we are going to print off four of our shipping labels. And today I'm gonna to be using my thermal printer, which I sell on my website, rugbabe.com. This thing is so awesome. I'm so, so, so happy that I get to use this instead of my normal printer. I used to just print out my shipping labels on a regular sheet of paper, fold it in half, and then tape it on my boxes. But this is a thermal printer, and what it does is it prints out your shipping labels on a little um, sticker, a little four by six sticker, and you can peel off the shipping label and stick it to your box. So. No more wasting paper, ink, and tape. So now I'm going to print my shipping labels, but before I do that, make sure that your format is changed. If you are using this thermal printer, make sure to change your format to four by six for label printers and not regular paper, which is this one right here. So I have that one checked off. I press save, and then I'm going to click print for shipping labels. And now I just click print and print again. And it is that easy. And now we have our four shipping labels, which I am so excited to put on my packages and send them off. But I will see you in the next part of the video where I get my orders ready to take them to UPS. So this is me printing some more shipping labels. I just click print 20 shipping labels and then I click print again. And this is the thermal printer printing out all of the labels. I love this thing so much because it's so fast. I think I printed these 20 labels in around 20 seconds. So that's literally a label a second, which is way, way faster than like a standard printer, definitely. So this is what comes inside the package. There's the tufting gun. I have it bubble wrapped um, and then a little bag of tools. And I'm just going to shut my package and tape it up. Nice and tight. So this is all of our labels. I basically just take a package and peel off one of the labels and it sticks perfectly on there. Make sure that the part that has the barcode is flat so that they're able to scan it and there's not any problems. This is me adding the labels to some of the orders. As you can see, we have a lot of orders that we have to send out. But before we go to UPS to send these off, I just wanted to give you guys a quick tip and that's to avoid putting tape over these labels or for that matter, any label. It can actually cause some complications when your carrier service is trying to you know, scan them.
And we finally made it to UPS. Yay! This is me taking all of these super heavy packages inside. I thought it would be really funny to show you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And make sure to subscribe to stay updated when we post new videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!